Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. So that every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. Man, let's do a quick dive into this disturbing incident between T.I. and his son, King. Now, a few days ago, if y'all ain't if y'all ain't heard, him and his boy got into it publicly at a football game for the whole world to see. Yes, the youngin put put it on social media. He has since deleted it, I guess, but it's uh it's I'm not gonna say cautionary tale, but it, it, it goes to show the difference in generations, how younger and older generations see things differently. And we have to understand that. And we have to understand that there's going to be a gap. People, children, I'm just going to tell y'all, you don't understand how tough parenting is. They'll say parenting is simple, but it's not easy. You know, you can try to follow a blueprint. There's going to always be some, there's going to be some bumps and craters and, 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 and roadblocks and, everything else along the way you know potholes along the way but you got to stay the course and the thing about it is there's like i said before there's like no book i mean you can go by the scriptures and they tell you how to treat people there's like no book that just tells you how to deal with every child in the world it's just it just ain't people can have suggestions people I mean, there's a blueprint that you know that tells you what to do but when you get different, ain't nothing going to tell you, okay, at this age, this child is going to do this, so do this. At this age, the child is going to do this during the daytime, before breakfast. At this age, do this. It, 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 it's not like that. It's not like that. But anyway, let's get into it, man. This is from page6.com, and it reads, T.I. and Son King gets into screaming match, nearly brawl at Falcons game. Quote, you're embarrassing yourself, end quote. From family hustle to family tussle. Really? Really? Things nearly got physical between T.I. and his son, King, after a screaming match at the Atlanta Falcons versus New York Jets game on Sunday. The father-son duo got into a heat, got heated after the 19-year-old began streaming their conversation from their suite at Georgia's Mercedes-Benz Stadium via Instagram Live. Man, look at here, youngins. Keep your business offline. It's, you know why you should do that? Because if you did it, people like myself wouldn't be making these videos but i would say one of the benefits from it is this is a teaching moment this is a learning and a teaching moment for everybody which is why i'm here after the rapper 43 claimed king had never woken up with a roach on his face or in his ear king denied growing up with a quote silver spoon in his mouth now pay attention to this here I never ate with that a day in my life, the teenager said. He's talking about a silver spoon. T.I. disagreed with his wife, Tamika Tiny Harris, claiming their eldest child used to run to his grandma's house so he could suck a pacifier over there until he was 12 years old. There's a disconnect. You have to remember as a parent how it was for you when you was a kid. You just can't remember only the bad or only the good. You got to see it all, but you can't. But the younger you are and the more you disconnect yourself from your youth, you you have a, we have a tendency to forget. So I can say I can remember being a youngin and going to stay with my grandmother during the summers. Sometimes it was. Most of the time it was purposeful. Like I might stay there a month, then I might stay there a couple, go back, stay a couple of weeks. Whatever, you know, like when the summer comes, go, you know, summer starts school. Summer, summer starts <clears throat> after school. Go down there for a couple of weeks, come back, then go back down there for a couple of weeks or whatever. But, you know, be down there with my grandma. Um the person that had the biggest problem with my dad, because my grandmother would be like, why your daddy calling her every day? You all right? You know, she, I remember her telling him that on the phone and hanging up on him. You know what I'm saying? But I remember those days. And as a youth, you know, it wasn't the best of times. I mean, you know, it wasn't the funnest of times. It's me, my grandmother, and in the country. You know, but I look back on it now, like, shoot, we used to go, you know, when to go pick peas. I remember my grandma had a garden in the backyard. I remember she had a big hog back there. 
I remember washing clothes and hanging them on a the line. I rem you know, I remember having to go into town, 20 minutes to go into town and get groceries. But I do remember them biscuits and bacon and sauces and them tea cakes. That stuff. That 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 made it all the you no, know, that made all the difference in the world. I remember the party lines on the phone. I remember putting a quarter on the on the, on the, on an envelope and giving it to the uh, the post lady so she could mail the letter back to my girlfriend in Dallas. I mean, those were oh no, such those were those were the good old days. You feel me? But so if I was looking at, at this like between like in Ti and Ti and, uh, and, and and King's eyes, as a parent, I'd be you know what I'm saying I'd be like saying, well, Marlon, you used to run down to your grandmother's house because she made tea cakes. You know what I'm saying? She would cook you tea cakes and biscuits all the time. You wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? You ain't live. You know what I'm saying? You ain't uh you ain't had it hard. You you, you wanted to do that. You could have been. You know you had a you had a good living with us middle class family. Whatever, you know, building this and the third. Thing two is, I was the oldest. And Lil King there, he look like, you no, know, I think he's their oldest. Like I said, parenting, that, that first child is your tester for you to figure out, okay, this is what I've learned. This is how I think it should go. Let's try it out and see. That's how that, that that's usually. The first born. So if things mess up, if there's, so there's ever going to be a relationship that's going to be jacked up, most of the time it may be that oldest one. Well, hell, it could be any one of them because even middle children might think they're not getting as much love as the first one or the last child because the baby going to always, well, most of the time going to get a lot of attention and the oldest one going to get the most attention at first because they're the first born. They're the first grandbaby. They'll get sometimes. So they'll get that special attention. And then the youngest one will get most of the attention because they're the baby. So it could just be, that's what I'm saying. There's no book to sit there and tell you how to raise kids. Because what if your firstborn is a boy? You probably get all the attention. What if your secondborn is a boy, but your first one is a girl? Once that boy get born, he might get all the attention. Or you might have a guy who loves his daughters. You know what I'm saying? And, and he has a, has a daughter and she's going to get all the attention and love and can't do no wrong. And if a boy even look at her funny or make her sneeze wrong, he going he gonna to end up in the bottom of a river. Stuff like that. So the young, you know, you just, like I say, ain't no book going to say, can tell you how to deal with every situation. But anyway, as a parent, you have to see it from both sides. And unfortunately, you're not allowed to do any wrong. Uh, let's see. He said he also said he so gonna pass the father until he was 12 years old. Yeah, grandma spoiled him. I get, I bet T.I. and them made money. Now they probably started out, they didn't have a whole lot of money when they had the boy, but then once they start coming up financially, he used to be in his grandmother's house probably because they was traveling, couldn't afford to take care of him at the time, trying to start their businesses, trying to get their careers going. He probably stayed his grandmother a lot, and the grandmother probably spoiled him to death, which is what grandparents do. And so he understand that and kids know where the love is. Not saying the not saying his parents didn't love him, just but they know he knew his grandmother showed it to him, like presence. And that's one thing parents have to understand too. Especially these fathers or these mothers who want their child support, but not really fighting for the father to see the child, but they fighting for that money to go into their account not knowing for the child the presence of that father long term is worth more than that money if not equals more than that money but these things people don't care i mean people don't take in consideration king then told his followers he went to his grandparents place because he did not want to be in the gates of his mom and dad's mansion and instead be outside the neighborhood yeah he wanted to play that's what kids want to do kids boys that's why keeping boys in the house indoors is a bad thing. And then they get to school and the first thing they want to holler is a little brother got ADHD. We can't control him. Let's put him on some Ritalin or some other drugs. Nah, nah, as a, I don't know. I, I don't know about the females, but as for the dudes, dudes need to be outside playing every day, every day. I remember going to school when we was, in, when we was at the uh, park 
I'm at the park, but like on the playground during lunch, kids are outside playing. The boys are doing the crazy stuff, jumping off of swings, you know, jumping off the merry-go-round, playing football, tackle on the concrete. Crazy stuff. Girls will be outside and they may swing, but not as daring as a boy, because boys, we're going to be showing out. And so they, and that's how we are created. So yeah, I understand what he's saying. He wanted to be outside. <laughs> so that's why he went to his grandparents' house. And then he hit, he added to, he added his parents were trying to hide the truth of his upbringing and lying. As the expense of the field screaming match continued, Harris 48 seemingly attempted to deescalate by putting his hands on King's chest and telling him to shut up. That right there, <clears throat> I agree with. First of all, yep, you got kids who 18, 19, 16, shit, it started junior high. Especially with dudes. Things we get to his grandmother's house so he didn't have time to do it. He probably had the opportunity to do it. So it came later in life for him. Like I said, no one book. But when your child is trying to disrespect you, first of all, he turned the phone on. First thing, hindsight is 2020. I probably would have snatched that phone out of his hand and broke it right then and there. Told him, I was probably, first thing I probably, yeah, told him to turn it off. And if he wouldn't have turned it off, then I would have snatched it, took it out of his hand and broke it. Don't care who bought it, who paying for it, the son gun is broke. You want to sue your daddy? Sue your daddy if you want to. You ain't got money like that. That's one thing my dad told me a long time ago with, on some little minor thing we had a disagreement about when I was in high school. He said, you know what? He told me, you don't want to play the money game because you're not going to win. I didn't understand it then, but the older I got, I understood what he was saying. I understood exactly what he was saying. But you don't let your child disrespect you in private and not in public. If they do it in public, then you definitely got to take it to that next level. You got to. You got to show King who is the true King, period. If you want to be that grown, then you got to go. The team asked his mom why she would let them. See, now see, now there he goes. Now he's going, asking his mama for help. Now you this big boy, and you so grown, you're going to step up to your dad and you can't even check him. And your dad is only like five foot seven. So you got to be a good five foot. You ain't nothing but little bitty, man. But you going to try to check step to your daddy or disrespect your daddy and when he puts you in your place now you want to holler mama so now we know exactly your mindset the teen asked his mom why she would let ti play with him like that to watch to which she said the grammy winner was just joking however ti could be heard in the background now she's trying to de-escalate i just playing y'all just leave it alone no, hopefully she's hoping that they can de-escalate however ti could be heard in the background telling king that he was embarrassing himself before he appeared on screen to simply put his hand, put his son in a chokehold. Good work. Boy, you can't do nothing with me, the songwriter said <clears throat> as the video ended. Ain't ish you can do with me. King, who was previously filmed getting into a bathroom brawl with another team about three years ago, <clears throat> went on to address the altercation via Instagram. There you go, back online again. Can't seem to shut up. Well, there's a lot of feminine Tennessee guys out here nowadays. Writing I D G A F, which you know what that means. Who you are, M F can't play with me. So see, now you still trying to disrespect your daddy. In my face, and not going for that. I'm a grown ass man now. Pay six, they reached out. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> Young boy, you learn how to shut up. Don't put your business out there. You remember uh, what was it, Master P? Remember Romeo came out. Was it this year or last year? I think it was earlier this year. Trying to put some business out there about. When his sister passed, pretty much trying to call his daddy a fake fraud and a phony. But then his daddy had to come out and put the truth out there. And then, well, what he said was the truth out there about the daughter and about the uh, and about the business with the rap snacks. And then they ended up making up. See, youngsters, you kids, y'all don't know what your parents go through. It's one thing I say to kids all the time when they try to explain how to stuff or try to give their reason and a reckoning for what's going on. I will quick I'm quick to tell them I've been where you've been, but you ain't been where but you hope to get to where I'm at. In other words, I have 
knowledge and experience and understand what you're thinking. I know what you're going to do before you do it. As a matter of fact, I know exactly what you're thinking right now and how you think you're going to get out of this or get around this or your motivation for doing what you're doing. I already know. And if I call you out on it, all you're going to do is lie about it or try to explain some more to deflect or divert and not really answer or touch on what I'm talking about. And then once you get to that, when you get to that space, now, if I really want to prove you wrong or show you exactly, I know what the heck I'm doing. Now I got to investigate. Now I got to pry into your life. And then we know that I'm going to find out some stuff. I'm going to find out some stuff that you don't want me to find out. I may find out stuff that I don't want to find out. So it'd be in your best bet to humble yourself, youngin. Trust me. Because there are things that I know that you don't think I know. But I'm just not going to, I'm just going to let it ride for now. Because it, it will rear its ugly head eventually. I'll make sure it don't get to a point, you know, you know, it don't that the situation don't get too far gone. But I know what's going on in your life. But also as parents, we do gotta remember that yes, we were kids, so it's our jobs to teach, train, humble ourselves sometimes. And one thing my father told me, man, parenting is a lifelong job. I'm going to be a parent till the day I die. When you got parents that said, once my child turned 18, you got to get out the house and go on, go on out on your own because I'm done with you. You're not a good parent. It's just facts, whether you like it or not. Because you are supposed to be there to guide your children. Because of the, because every day that you grow and every day that you live as an adult, you should be learning. And you should be passing that knowledge on to your children. The ones who you chose to be here, the ones that are here and the ones that basically their life is really dictated off of what you taught them or what you didn't teach them, teach them as they were growing up. So parenting ain't over. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Like even now I get, I talk to my parents, mom and dad all the time, I'm getting advice, aunt, uncles, Whatever, you know, neighbors, people that's older than me, I'm learning every day and I'm in my mid forties. And hell, even reading and studying and watching stuff, I'm learning all the time. And the knowledge that I learn, I pass it down to the to the next generation. Whether it be the next kids, grandkids, and friends all the way out, family members, whatever. That's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a blessing to everybody, especially your children. But this is this is this is this ain't nothing to brag and boast about. It's a sad thing. I mean, it's there's, there's, I mean, bottom line, I, I, I take it. I do side with T.I. for the most part, being a father that, yeah, you got to put your kids in check. Now, I don't know anything about their life besides what we see on stories like this. We don't know, even like the reality show, you might see that, but there are things that ain't real you know what i'm saying like i think king said that after the show uh he would go back to his grandma's house they'll send him back to his grandma's house well hell if that's what he's comfortable with he can't use that against them you know what i'm saying they probably use it to help themselves but then after a while it benefited everybody and if that's what king wanted to do then king you know shoot go do it but like i said he'll get older and he'll realize and he'll understand how he was blessed to have the best of both worlds and he'll probably apologize for me. Anyway, <clears throat> tell me what y'all think about this story. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. And with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.